All right, so it seems like the Eagles are finally about to make the move that everybody has been waiting for, as after getting a few long-term extensions done with some of their crucial franchise cornerstones earlier this offseason, a massive update just dropped that makes it seem like another one of these cornerstones is about to be extended very soon. Meanwhile, the Birds also just went out and added a really intriguing tight end to potentially back up Dallas Goddard, and they're also continuing to meet with prospects ahead of the NFL draft, including this very interesting 6'7 receiver prospect, but why does it seem like the Eagles are actually leaning towards taking a lineman in the first round? Plus, Plus, many of the Eagles players are working extremely hard this offseason as they seem hungry to have a fantastic year in 2024, so let's talk about that and all the other latest Eagles news, and we won't waste any time, let's get straight into it. Okay, let's start off by going over some good news for the Eagles uniforms, or more specifically, their helmets, as the NFL just revised their uniform policy to now allow up to three different helmets for each team, which, for the Eagles, probably means the return of the black helmets for their black jerseys, which they had been done away with last year with the addition of the Kelly Greens and those helmets, but now that you can have up to three different different ones, I almost guarantee you that they're gonna bring back the black edition, or maybe they surprise us and pull out these white helmets, which Isaiah Rogers has been seen wearing in some of his Instagram posts. So I don't know, I'm all for either one because they're both pretty clean, so drop a like down below for the potential return of the black helmets or the white ones. Now, something else that also looks pretty clean, just like those helmets, is this proposed cover for Madden 25, which features two all-time legends that both obviously just retired this offseason in both Jason Kelsey and Aaron Donald, and after seeing this, I mean, I honestly don't know how Madden doesn't do this. Like, it just makes so much sense, this concept looks so clean, and they honestly just have to at this point. Like, this is a straight 10 out of 10 cover, and even though I personally don't really play Madden or video games nearly as much as I used to, I mean, I think I'd have to buy it if this was the cover. Or who knows, maybe I'd even do a giveaway or something like that which I've never done before. So you guys can let me know your thoughts down in the comments. How would you feel if this was the Madden cover this year? But now just speaking of Kelsey, I mean, the man is retired, but he just keeps winning as his documentary was just nominated for two Emmys at the 45th Sports Emmy Awards, being the Outstanding Long Documentary Emmy and the Outstanding Editing Emmy, which, I mean, does this really come as a shock at all? Like if you watch the Kelsey documentary, you know it was just fantastic. It was the most successful documentary on Amazon for a while there. I think it actually became the most streamed documentary ever on Amazon in October. And I have personally watched it several times and definitely will eventually check it out again so if you haven't watched it definitely go do that it was really awesome and just so cool to see Jason succeeding in pretty much everything that he does which is why I'm really so interested to see what he ends up doing in his retirement because you know he's going to be good at it but now getting back to the current state of the Eagles team that doesn't include Kelsey anymore we just got word on which team they're going to face in their season opener in the NFL's first ever game in Brazil as after a bunch of rumors it was finally reported that one up-and-coming NFC team will be the ones traveling down to South America to face Philly with Aaron Wilson reporting quote Packers will face Eagles in international game in Brazil per a league source on Friday night of the NFL's opening week of games on September 6th so there you go it's officially said it'll be Packers versus Eagles down in Brazil and I gotta say I think this is gonna be a great opening weekend matchup I mean first off I do want to acknowledge that I along with many other people thought it was gonna be the Browns after Cleveland defensive tackle Maurice Hurst seemed to leak that information during an interview but I guess that wasn't true or maybe the NFL changed their minds I honestly don't really know but I will say that I really don't mind the fact that it's going to be the Packers instead of Cleveland. I mean, they're a nice up-and-coming team with an intriguing quarterback in Jordan Love who really showed a ton of ability last year. They obviously made the playoffs and won a game against the Cowboys, and they put up a really good fight against the 49ers. I mean, they almost won that game. So, like the Eagles, they're going to enter this season with pretty high expectations. Plus, they also apparently do have a decent-sized fan base down there in Brazil. So, I do think this was an overall great choice to be the opening weekend matchup. It's definitely going to be very fun and exciting for sure. I mean, last time these two teams met, it was in Philly, and Jalen and Hurts went crazy as he ran for over 100 yards in the first quarter and it was just an all-around really really fun game and a good win for the birds so hopefully they have a similar result this time week one on an international stage and you guys can let me know your early thoughts on this matchup down in the comments below I mean who is going to win this game now while we may finally know who the Eagles opponent is going to be on September 6th that's still obviously a very long ways away and the Eagles got a lot more to do before they get to that point where they're about to play a game and it really seems like they all just can't wait to get there. I mean, starting out, you got head coach Nick Sirianni, who actually went and posted some pics on his Instagram of him coaching the team from the sidelines with a caption, quote, missing it. And then you got Saquon Barkley, quote, tweeting the Brazil game announcement, saying, Brazil, let's get it. And then, of course, him and some other players are continuing to work really, really hard this offseason. We've obviously seen videos of him on the field and in the gym. And then you see other guys like Kiwi Ringo, for example, who has been in the lab all offseason, as he's posted numerous videos of himself working out. And then you also got AJ Brown, who's continuing to work hard, is he's a guy that we've already got several videos of this offseason working out. We just got one of him going hard, running routes recently, and now we've got this one where he looks as fast as ever, as he apparently hit a speed of 22 miles per hour right here in this video, so that's pretty scary, and honestly, it's just going to be awesome to see what AJ does this year. 
And then moving on, the newest eagle that we've got some of these offseason training videos from is linebacker Devin White, as he posted some videos of himself lifting and just going hard in the gym. And I gotta say, I'm getting more and more excited about Devin White. I mean, if you've been following this channel for a little bit, you know that I was initially a bit skeptical of a few things when the Eagles signed him, but at the end of the day, he's definitely an upgrade over anybody else the Eagles had at linebacker last year. He's got a great resume. He's still young. They got him for a very, very good price, and he sounds about as motivated as ever to come out and have a great year. And judging by these videos, he's going to do everything that he can to make sure that happens. So I'm definitely getting excited for sure, and if he plays up to his potential, he's definitely going to help this defense out quite a bit. So you guys can let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Just how big of an impact do you see Devin White having on the defense this year? Now, yet another guy we've seen working hard this offseason is backup running back and giant killer Boston Scott, although it's looking like his time with the Eagles may actually be over. As last season, the Birds barely utilized Scott at all, and now he's currently an unrestricted free agent that no team has signed just yet. So you might think that maybe the most likely thing for Scott is that he comes back with to Philly on a very cheap one-year deal in his typical backup role, but something just happened that makes it seem like that won't be the case, as they just gave Scott's long-time number in number 35 to their new running back in Tyreon Davis Price, which, I mean, that's definitely interesting. Now, just because Scott's number was given away does not mean that he's not going to return to the team, but maybe it could be an indicator that they're not thinking about bringing him back. So I guess we'll see. Only time will tell in this situation, but if it is the end of Scott's run in Philly, then all we can do is say thank you to the 5'6 man that just always seemed to kill the Giants. But now, speaking of contracts that the Eagles may or may not give out, let's switch our focus to Devontae Smith and his upcoming extension. As of course, we've all been waiting for this for a while now, but for whatever reason, it just has yet to get done. But we did finally just get a new update on the whole situation with ESPN's Tim McManus giving us an actual concrete report that Smitty and the Eagles are currently working towards a long-term extension. As after the Eagles have now signed both Landon Dickerson and Jordan Mylod to long-term deals, McManus wrote, quote, The focus now shifts to one of their most important skill position players. The Eagles are making efforts behind the scenes to get something done with 25-year-old Smith. Contract talks are ongoing, sources familiar with negotiations said, and there's general optimism that a deal will materialize in the near future. So that's definitely huge news. Obviously, extending Smitty is an absolute must for the birds. I mean, we all know that he doesn't want to go anywhere either. So it's great to hear that both sides are continuing to negotiate on a new deal. And now it's just only a matter of time before it actually gets done. And with this report saying that there's optimism that it's going to get done in the near future, I'm sure that this whole situation won't go on for too much longer. Now, the price tag's definitely going to be interesting considering the fact that AJ Brown is the clear number one receiver on this team and he's being paid $25 million per season on average, but the market for receivers has definitely gone up since AJ got that contract, and Smitty's going to probably command around that price, so that'll be interesting for sure, but again, there's no doubt in my mind that this is going to get done, and the Eagles offensive core will remain intact for the foreseeable future. And now speaking of the Eagles offense, the Birds and Howie Roseman also just went out and signed what I see as a potentially pretty solid backup tight end in former Jet and Bagel CJ Uzama, with Ian Rappaport reporting the news that the Eagles signed him to a one-year contract, and I personally think that this is potentially potentially a good move because Uzama is a guy who we have seen produce in this league before. I mean, sure, he wasn't putting up crazy numbers by any stretch of the imagination, but he was at one point a pretty decent tight end for the Bengals, and if you'll remember, he actually did help them a decent amount on their Super Bowl run before he went down with an injury, but that right there is also the concern with Uzama. As CJ really hasn't done much since that 2021 season, as with the Jets, he dealt with a ton of injuries and they really have limited him, so I think if he can stay healthy, he's potentially a very good option to back up Dallas Goddard. He's a guy that definitely has more receiving ability than we've seen from Eagles backup tight ends the past couple years, but if he just ends up not producing or he gets injured or something like that, then the Eagles have another guy that could probably come in to compete and be the tight end number two in Alberto anyway. So I like the move as a depth signing, but what do you guys think? But just while we're on the topic of the offense and skill positions, let's switch over to some draft news. As the Eagles just had a meeting with a very interesting wide receiver prospect in Florida State's Johnny Wilson, and the reason that this is so interesting is because Wilson is a six foot seven freak of nature, and he could be a very intriguing day two pick for the birds who are kind of in need of some depth at wide receiver at this point. I mean, Wilson's height and jump ball ability as well as just his physicality could offer a unique element to this Eagles offense and he could maybe even be utilized well in specific situations like in the red zone for example. So he's definitely a guy to keep your eye on for sure as we get closer to the draft. And just to continue on with the draft speculation here, I mean, just based on the Eagles top 30 visits so far, it seems like they're definitely leaning towards taking an offensive lineman as out of their reported visits so far, a third of them are with O'Lyman. So it looks like a potential Lane Johnson replacement 
replacement could be on the way or maybe somebody to come in and compete to start a right guard and honestly I definitely would not be mad at that at all O lineman is definitely a position that the Eagles value very highly and there's some good ones in this draft so this might be a great time to go get one of those guys but they also have met with a bunch of other intriguing prospects at other positions such as edge rusher and linebacker so it's definitely going to be very interesting to watch as we get closer and closer to the draft and there's surely going to be a bunch more news coming out as these next few weeks come and go and we're going to be covering that as well as all the other Eagles draft news and just news in general throughout this entire offseason and leading into next season so if you don't want to miss any of that make sure you subscribe and also really really importantly turn on notifications and also while you're at it make sure you drop a like on this video to show some support and leave a comment down below just regarding anything that I talked about in this video and if you want to watch another Eagles video you can check this out right here now with all that being said that's pretty much all I got for this one guys so thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video